Folks, we live in an age where every single thing we love and dear are turned to anime. We got Dragon Ball Z, Kawaii Bebop, Inuyasha, Digimon, you get. But also, they've also turned dolls into an anime. The animes I would like to bring up are these ones. You may not know them, but I do. Because I watched them when I was in high school. The first anime that has related somewhat of dolls is, let's see. Angelic Lair. Angelic Lair is a show about um, these dolls who turn to battle each other on on like a battle arena for dolls. And well, the anime is pretty good. Next anime in Angelic Angel 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 is a story about a mother who just wanted to able to walk in to be with her daughter, but she was too shy to do it because she wanted to wanted to prom keep that promise. And her daughter, in the end, will see her in the end of the episode. If you watch the show, it's really good animation. Then there's Chobits. Not really doll anime, but giant dolls. There are so dolls the same. And Handmade Me? Yeah, I'd rather than that one. Then there's Middle Bots. The robot toys for children to battle robots. Everyone knows about that in Then there's Midori Days. You may know about it. It's a less known of it. It's about a, a boy wishing to have a girl, but the girl's afraid to be around him. And there's a girl who has a crush on him, but this guy has no idea. So this girl appears on her hand like a small doll. Go give it a look. It's really good. And then, of course, there's a little princess. It's not really a doll show, but the little princess treasures a doll that her father gave her before he left. And, well, I find the anime adorable. And there's Pinocchio, the anime series. But also, there's one other doll that's never been turned into an anime series. Well, who could that be? Could that be Winnie the Pooh? No. Could it be, uh... Um, sorry, it's all the doll. Oh, or Woody or Buzz? No, they would never turn into anime. Disney would never. Thank God, would never. The only doll that was never turned to anime was Dear Raggedy Ann. Yes, Raggedy Ann. Everyone knows Raggedy Ann. Created a character created by American writer Jill Johnny Gorilla of 1880 and, and through 1938. Appeared in a series of books. He wrote illustrations for his young for young children. Raggedy Ann was a ragdoll with red yarn for hair, triangle nose, and John, Johnny received fewer as patents on it. As for Raggedy Ann doll of September 7th of 1915, the character was created in 1915 as a doll. It was introduced to the public in 1918. The book Raggedy Ann Stories. Also, he created for his little girl, sadly, who died of death. And so it got me wondering. Why haven't we seen a Raggedy Ann anime? I mean, they should be a Raggedy Ann anime. I mean, come on. She's cute. She's adorable. She's just so huggable and lovable. Even I had a Raggedy Ann doll. She was the first doll I ever had. And that developed me in my conscience to make toys growing up. Good Raven. Even Raven has a Raggedy doll costume. I know she's not worried. I'm speaking of that. Today's her birthday. So say happy birthday to my doll here. And yeah, she's sitting in her birthday chair. Yeah, it has a little fan here that I added there to, uh, you know, fan her if she gets hot. Oh, she's wearing a little winter coat made for her last year. Oh, got you. <laughs> My point is, Raggedy Ann has been a book, a movie, one cartoon, a shorts. But it's never been turned to an anime. <laughs> so far, we've seen Chuck Jones' adaptations of Raggedy Ann. But there is only two and a few cartoons. Let me list you them. As for the books, he is over about, oh boy, I say about 100 at this point, though. But then again, that was a long time ago in the 90s. So, yeah, so this was updated to the, well, oh, wait. The updation attitude to grow is based on his works is in Raggedy Ann Andy's animation Australian of 1944. Hmm. But yeah, you see, no one's ever. Have any of you girls out there of my age have had a Raggedy Ann doll tag along with her, take care of her and dress her and, and clean her? Well, I loved Raggedy Ann when I was a little girl. And I still do. However, I could end, I wouldn't have been inspired to make Raven. Here's the thing. This is how many of the cartoons he had. He, well, somehow. Let me just get to my list here. The features. Mm. 
First of all is the Flash Tin Studios, a famous studio source. Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Ann, a very small, simple cartoon about them both created in Raggedyland, which they were given to a little girl. Suddenly it's spring of 1944, a uh, cartoon, a cute little cartoon about the storm, the winter, staying too long, making a little sick kid, making little kids sick. So Raggedy Ann wants to go to the sun and ask him if he can get her better because the sun is the best medicine, but he has to, she has to go meet all these people to get the sermon, someone. Watch the cartoon trigger. Then the Enchanted Squirrel. It's a story about a little girl who is blind, can't see, but once she receives a doll that helps her see through her imagination. It's adorable. And then there's the classic ever mentioned created movie by one of the most famous artisans who ever created so much beautiful crap. Richard Williams. Richard Williams was a long line of the famous creators in art of anything like Don Bluth, Walt Disney, Stan Lee, rest in peace, so many other creative and artisans out there. Which Richard Williams did so many hard. He worked for a few years getting this all crafted up and created. And Daddy Juke, this movie was pretty good. I would say this movie, Regley Ann and Ann and uh, Musical Avenger, I think it inspired those guys that create Toy Story. I mean, come on, it's the same obvious story. A new toy comes in, and he gets kidnapped, and they have to go on an adventure. So yeah, this experiments. And Toy Story took it from her, and, then, and that's bad. Copyright strike, but I'm at least. But yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then that's actually really it. Other than that, there were there were TV, there were TV uh, cartoons created by, as I said, Chuck Jones, Raggedy Ann, Andy, and the Great Santa. Claws capture and it's Raggedy Ann and the pumpkin who couldn't smile and review it. And then there was a TV show called The Adventures of Raggedy Ann and Annie. And it was a cute cartoon though. It was a very adorable cartoon. It was a, it was about a TV show that had that had well Raggedy Ann and, and her brother and wrinkled knees and the little adventure. And their uh, their friends were Grouchy Bear, the Camel with No Knees, Sunny Bunny, Raggedy Cat, and Marcella. A little girl, of course, and Raggedy Ann. And famous writers were Ryan Cummins, Sherry Lynn, Dave Mello, David Mann, Patty Parrott, and of course, Frank Waker! If I'm saying it correctly. And these episodes were all very good and all, but where do we didn't get a TV show? Well, we actually got another thing here on the list. It's Raggedy Ann and Andy and the Camel with the Goonies. However, it's another long lost cartoon. Yeah. So recently these days, why isn't there a Raggedy Ann anime? Why isn't there? I mean, there should be one. They should, I mean, come on. All little girls adore Raggedy Ann. And even I adore her to this day. I'm a doll maker. We doll makers always admire creations that we create by other people. <laughs> Believe me, Johnny was a man. One person is the other dream. Also, they did a, he did they he did other things actually. Raggedy Ann, Sunny, Raggedy um, audio recordings and comic books too. Yes, comic books. Really, right, wrote? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. So yeah, they did comic books. And so far, Raggedy Ann has been around for ages now. I would even say she's been here for a long period of existential time. There she is right now, little cutie. So all I'm saying is that. Why didn't we get a Raggedy Ann anime? We got Pinocchio, and he's a famous doll for uh, male. How about fresh Raggedies? How about fresh girls who love Raggedy Ann and love the doll very much? I mean, hey, raise your hand if you are if you had a Raggedy Ann doll or ever loved Raggedy Ann. And the show and pad of this homemade doll is just so beautiful. Now, so far, the doll... There are other symbols for this doll, though, but I'd rather not mention that. No, no, no. Give one, give one. Mm -hmm. Recently, this doll, this doll has been owned by Hasbro. So Hasbro owns the right to Raggedy Ann. So come on, Hasbro, please make Raggedy Ann into an anime, please. Come on, why can't they be a Raggedy Ann anime? I mean, we'd have Transformers, we have Digimon, we have Pokemon, we have Peter Rabbit, Peter Pan. Even uh, Kung Fu Panda. So come on, Hasbro, baby, please make a Raggedy Ann anime already. 
That's all I have to say, folks. So, everybody, say happy birthday to Raven and have a good night's rest. Bye-bye.